What's up guys, today I'm going to give you all a little tutorial on how to do a double half cab roll. <laughs> this trick may seem pretty crazy because you're doing two flips and one jump, but in reality it's pretty simple. All it takes is a little bit of commitment and I think most people could probably do this trick. First things first that everyone's going to need to know before you try this trick is you're going to need to know how to do a mute half cab roll. So go take care of that get that together if you can't already do that but if you already know how this is what you need to do what you're gonna need to do now is basically take your mute half cab roll and do it with the hardest edge you can the smallest edge you can the medium edge no matter what you need to have this trick completely in control if you're edging really hard and go huge I don't want you to be over rotating or anything you need to be able to slow it down and then put land perfectly without butt checking or anything every single time so until you're 100% confident on your half cow roll, you probably shouldn't try the double. But once you are, I think you're pretty much ready. So yeah, for the double, you're basically going to need to come in with a pretty hard edge. I'd say about 75% power. And you're going to take off the kicker just like you normally would for your normal half cow roll. But this time, you're going to need to throw it quite a bit harder than usual. And uh, where most people will go wrong is uh, they will think in their head, okay, if I do a big enough half cab roll and have enough time, I'm going to throw another. But in reality, that's never going to work, and by the time you've thought that process through, it's already too late. You really need to be 100% committed to the trick before you even hit the kicker. So yeah, have in your head two flips, one jump, hit the kicker, try it, and see where you end up. At first, you're not going to be able to really tell what's going on unless you're really confident with doing two flips, one jump on a trampoline or elsewhere. But a lot of times it's hard to find a good trampoline for that, so it's better off to just try it on the water. So yeah, the more and more you do it, the better air awareness you'll gain and you'll be able to spot that landing and ride away. Um, I feel like most people, after they land this trick a few times, they tend to over rotate and butt check and get back up. But just time and more tries and more tries will help you figure out where you are you can find that landing stomp it right away and I, I feel like once you do this trick once or twice it gets easier and easier just because there's not really a handle pass involved it's just all commitment Yeah, go out there, give it a go. The landing will be super similar to the normal half cab roll. It'll just be quite a bit quicker. And yeah, try it. If, if you don't try, you're never going to know. And you'll just be sitting there wondering forever. So yeah, get out there, do it. <laughs> if you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, see ya.